This process has been agonizingly slow for a lot of people, as you may know too well. On your side, David Jones tells us about the state's trust fund and how it has actually gained money since the crisis started. You could think of a state's unemployment trust fund like a pool. All these businesses behind me pay into that pool based on their payroll and how many of their employees have to take from that pool. Unemployment benefits themselves are paid from funds in that pool. So why is it that Florida's pool right now is rising while pools across the country are falling? How is something that's supposed to be allocated to help the people not doing exactly that? Desmond Leonard Cohen has been stuck in the unemployment maze on pending for more than a month and a half. He's one of the many we've spoken to over the past weeks, and he returns to work on Wednesday without receiving a dime from the state. I mean, all these words, all these emotions rattle through me every time I a, get on the website, B, see a press conference of nothing. The state's slow action to pay out is visible in its unemployment trust fund. Records obtained by First Coast News show state's trust funds are shrinking across the country. California is lowered by about $1.2 billion from the start of March to mid-April as payments were going out. New York's trust fund lost around the same amount of money in that time frame. But Florida's trust fund actually gained money, adding $3 million in March and $13.7 million in the first half of April. It does indicate that Florida is the slowest to start paying out benefits. Michelle Evermore is a researcher and policy analyst with the National Employment Law Project. Florida is the only state where the trust fund gained money uh, over the course of the crisis. Some benefits had gone out in, in April, but the reality is um, receipts were greater than um, outlays. How does that speak to what you have studied about Florida's unemployment system? Do you feel like it did the job that it was designed to do, which was, from what we've heard from a lot of people, to fail? I think that that's exactly right. So there were political decisions made to make this a difficult system to access. Uh, not giving any thought to what's going to happen when there's another recession. And of course, we want to hear and be able to share your story. You can reach out to me at djones at firstcoastnews.com. We're in Jacksonville. David Jones, First Coast News on your side. David, thanks for explaining all of that.